Guys, I'm going to do a quick recap. Uh, we did uh, uh, trade uh, <clears throat> Twitter. I personally, did, uh, at the open, I traded Twitter and a one minute plane range break up. Uh, uh, actually, it turned out to be kind of a five minute, but you know, we really went up and then did a consolidation and then the really nice 67.25 all the way up to 69. So that was my uh, that was my Twitter trade, my signature ABCD pattern, one minute open range breakup. Although it is uh, not exactly at the minute number two, but it's still I like, count it as a one minute open range breakup because you know as soon as it broke out the uh, five minutes, uh, sorry one minute candlestick, I just took long and you know all the way up to you know I kind of missed uh, uh, getting out at sixty nine thirty nine, and I think this one is kind of an all time high on it. So that was the trade that's uh, really nice, the signature trade, and then now the market is setting off and Twitter is setting off with it. New was another trade that I uh, traded. I had some swing from the uh, last night, so I got out. And then I added some more for the break of high of the day. You know, after I got out of my swing, I added more, popped up, sold some, and then it this drop, I added back. Went back up, I added back, and then popped up to 64.55. That's the level that we have from the daily chart. Some people ask, okay, what is this 64.55 on a daily chart? When you come here, you know, back into uh, January 25th, I came and I saw that this level is here. Uh, I marked it 64.55, and as you see, down to the penny actually. So it went up, uh, got out of the break even because, uh, you know, I added here, I added here. My average was somehow around here, so I got out at the break even point. And, uh, you know, we went again one more time for it. So it's really nice ABCD pattern. Uh, <clears throat> I went long again at 64.24. I, I, I was expecting a breakout. It didn't break out. And then the market started to sell off. And now we are getting into a big sell off on the market. Both Brian and I took a really nice reversal on the sell off after this huge drop for 15 minutes. Um, I took I had this 60.72 level. I took a bounce from it to 60.50 all the way up to 62 it came down that long to, deal. yeah brian is taking another reversal Sorry. on it uh so as you see he's holding this level brian is back long i i added more here i still had some shares here i added more popped up to this moving averages sold and the last piece here brian now is taking another long on it market seems that it's kind of consolidating so when you see the spy is uh, kind of consolidating so it's a, it's a really good bounce if you could get a really good entry on that so Lee, uh, so yes. Brian is actually trading, trading Lee. Yeah, you could, you could trade Lee as well. Uh, uh, I just traded Neo because I, I really like the volume and uh, consolidation on Neo. So that was really, really nice. Uh, uh, we tr I traded APHA as well. Um, uh, it was a little bit messy on my side, APHA. I traded at the open and then, uh, uh, so I traded at the open APHA for one minute open range break up. 31 popped up to 32 sold and then last piece out and then I took a short around here and didn't make much of the money and then I took a couple of reversals on it it was a little bit messy so um, uh, but anyways I made money on the long side uh, and a little bit on the short side so yeah it's kind of embarrassing so <laughs> um, yeah so Neo is doing this consolidation here um, a market is kind of finding that bottom. Q is down one percent. Spy is down half a percent. Uh, it's I think a possible good reversal right here, but I'm down with it. I'm not gonna really um, look into that. So APHA for which one? For the for for the open, I was watching APHA. So stock was up by that time was up forty percent. Now is actually red for the day. I'm almost red so for the break of pre-market high so you know watch uh, thor's recap so it was a strong one minute open i took a one minute open range break up actually i got a bad entry on it and it popped up i was expecting a follow through but because it was so you know above the viva we really didn't get this follow through on it and i got out of the last piece and this is a really big move i mean it doesn't look like it from here but 31 all the way up to 32 40 that's a big move but because it's just the stock is so volatile the candle sticks are really small and uh, yeah, so that was pretty much. And after that, uh, again, again, I did a little bit of missed uh, reversal on it. Uh, both Brian and I did it, but it really didn't turn out to be great. Uh, so a bunch of thousand dollars on it. Um, so what about uh, other people? Brian, what, is there any trade you want to recap now that I have you on? Oh, just uh, the only one that I did uh, that you would I don't think you took was uh, BPTH. Was a nice, uh, nice move. Yeah, today ETH, Brian, went nice mover yeah. so you went long at uh at the open right now uh, right oh, yeah i missed that yeah i know i was i was open at the uh i was i was long from uh 
about tw uh, 1250 right at uh, you know in the pre-market yeah. and then added to it a bit yeah so a spy seems that guy and i'm out of shield uh, after this big sell-off yeah spies be back i'm still long some neo uh, any trade from you guys jared uh, thor uh, other team members You want to share? No. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe getting some TQQ. I mean, I had some TQQ. I I, I sold it right at one away, and then this drop happened. Hugo Master Chief, really nice uh, short on it. Yeah, so Hugo Master Chief. Uh, yeah, you went all the way up to the red. I remember that you mentioned that in the chat. AMD from 9310. Of course, you did here. AMD 93. <laughs> on the chart 93.10 ah you shorted so you got you cut that move on very nice jared uh, jared took a reversal on a spy so entered twice and then yeah took a reversal on a spy right jared why don't you trade spxl or uh, uh something that's uh, more leveraged because i learned that from you So the reversal on Neo is working really well for Brian. As you see, this level is really holding 6072. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna sell a little more here. Green Jean. Uh, Green Jean took a really nice on APHA long. You're still in there. Beautiful trading. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, IWM. Yeah, damn. I should have. Uh, I don't know, I should have got it some uh, entry here. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, if, if, if you get a more uh, sell off, I might actually board. But I'm all in, uh, you know, right now I'm all in cash. Um, so I sold all of my calls and everything. So. All right, so uh, pick capital traders, guys. In 10 minutes, we're going to have this uh, mentorship session and uh, TQQ. I like to go to TQQ. And uh, tonight we have the um, Mental Edge webinar by Credit. Uh, and I don't know what time is that. So go to bearabletraders.com and go to webinar page. Actually, I should bring it here. And uh, so what time is it? Because Credit, she's in uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time. This one is 5 p.m. because she's on uh, <clears throat> in, in uh, right now in UK. So the time is a little bit different. So. Uh, mental edge guys with credit and um, that's uh, that's something that uh, you should remember that to join and uh, other than that nothing guys thank you so much and see you all uh, tonight in the webinar if not tomorrow morning in the chat guys